Hey guys, hope you're doing well. I am just heading out to the post office and I'm also going to get a little drinky drink because it's like really hot. It's 28 degrees right now. So all I can think about is having a coffee. So all I'm going <laughs> so I'm going to get I think an ice long back with a little bit of milk in the top of it because that is all I can think about right now and I'm going to be starting the cutting for the week to start production on things so that's what I'm gonna do to film like a packing thing for you guys to show you like what it's actually like packing an order on TikTok or like filming an order that I'm packing. Um, I don't know if you saw like how many things I just ran into because my space is so freaking cluttered um, and I don't know <laughs> if you saw how annoying that was but that's like how slow it makes you um, if you pack an order. I think in the future I'm gonna do like fake orders and just like do them all together um I'm not really sure but I need like a better system I also just need to declutter my space like it gets so cluttered so quickly because of all of the volume like the volume of things getting shipped to me at the moment um like I literally have massive tables and I just also have all of this to clear out like this is so frustrating. Um, we have a shoe rack of shoes that we never freaking wear. So I don't even know why I've still got it. I've got my old market stand that I need to sell. And then I've got this outdoor table that I need to get rid of. It's just like a lot. And it all needs to go. But then it's like 
essential things like the mower but and I don't even know how that car seat is there or why it's there I just don't want it but this is all of like the um boxes I've had recently like the clutter that I've had to unbox um obviously my cutting scraps but at least there's a little bit of room over here which is where I like to tend to sit but it just gets so cut cluttered so quickly i also don't think i've shown youtube the actual like prints yet but this is the strawberry print i might have shown like the graphics of them um so stunning it's got like hand illustrated strawberries with leaves and flowers and it's like more a river pattern as opposed to like a symmetrical even pattern um this is like so beautiful i just love like the organic movement of it we've got this is the lemon print which is so beautiful and then of course the winifred print which i absolutely adore which is just like a classic wildflower coloring floral i'm going to actually head to the post office and deliver that I'm probably also going to grab my second coffee for the morning because I like to do that out and get like an actual bought coffee as opposed to one made at home. Um, and then the rest of the day I have to spend cutting again. So... Good morning. I wanted to update on this. I did a short about this not too long ago and just trialing the bigger size. I really love it, but I do have to carry the zip down because those zips, it definitely doesn't work for the, um, that makeup bag. So that's what I'm doing. But I just thought I would do a little bit of an update. So I've finished cutting everything for the rest for like this new collection. And I, in my last video, I was talking about the tags um, and how I have to use my old tags, even though I wanted these new tags, but the new tags printed wrong, etc. Um, what I did immediately after those tags arrived is I ordered some new ones in the correct color and um i'm waiting for those to still arrive but they will be here on monday or tuesday so i'm actually just going to wait for them to arrive because i didn't realize well i did realize but um like i haven't really been selling the travel pouches all too much since the launch because obviously like people want 
like bundles of things and like collections. The travel pouch just on its own doesn't um, really move too well. So it hasn't been, I haven't also been like promoting it or anything. However, I did do a video um, the other day because like an influencer purchased from me and she, like that video got a few um, views. So I have been selling quite a bit of my stock because of that video and I didn't like think that those, like I have to still sew those items and that means that I need the tags for those items so I don't have enough for both like the new items and the old ones so what I'm going to do wait for these new tags to arrive a lot of people did like the new tags so I did like after I posted that video I was like should I have just kept them but yeah that's my update with that if anyone cares I will have new tags for this new collection, I feel like it looks a little bit like better as well, like a bit more um, put together. I haven't really had the best week to be honest, there's been a few doubts crawling around in my head as happens this time between collection launches, but I'm just really struggling with the whole like drop sell out, drop sell out, like I just kind of want like consistency. On a more positive note, um, I am very excited to like finish this collection and launch it. Um, a lot of people have been asking where my like fabrics are from, and I haven't really done a like proper factual video on them yet they are all exclusive to matchy now designed in-house so yeah which is super exciting it is so hard to multitask good morning i am in the garage this morning because yesterday i purchased some more ikea shelving i wanted to do this whole wall in ikea shelving so that's what i did i actually purchased the shelves that have like the um, sliding drawers on the bottom as well.
temporary coin purses, travel pouches, tote bags, Kindle. Oh yeah. Oh my god. So I have finished and this is what I am thinking. So these have like um, accessories to like construct things. Then I've got my fabric interfacing and then I've got, that'll be where the Kindle pouches are, tote bags, coin purses. And then this will be where like the carry-all bags go. So it'll be like mainly carry-all bags on this shelf. And then this is a new design that I'm bringing into this next collection it's like an organizer um, but I've made a few adjustments since but this one is pretty cute this is more for like you know muslin wraps nappies things like that I might even keep it I'm not sure it's been hard to decide um, and then this one has like more accessories for construction and that's like all of my samples of things that aren't going anywhere and then i've also laid all of that out really nicely i've still got um a few winifred prints to go it's all looking like it's coming together um what i'm going to do now is just do a few boring like tasks of just um cornering and cutting like the swing tags and then yeah just like things that i can catch up on um so i did a video about this bag and this one i was trialing for like the last few weeks because i essentially like with my carry-all bag i love this bag and i like it's perfect for a makeup bag right but I wanted to make something a little bit bigger because this fills up really quick so I was working on something a little bit bigger which led me to this one because I wanted it to be a little thinner but just like more room and what I did is I trialed having the zip on the top there so instead of it going down the side I did it on the top and I love the size of this but with this zipper it's like you when you open it like that you're it's so restriction restricted so it was just way too annoying finding stuff at the bottom of this bag like if you fill it and stuff i just really didn't enjoy it so i went back to the drawing board and i made this one here and essentially it's exactly the same measurements although it comes out taller because it's like stitched differently it's got the zipper down the side and it's going halfway down the side because that's where I always start at and if I put my toiletries in this one 
although it fixes the problem of being able to like I can get to the bottom really easy I can't actually fill this up with toiletries because it spills out if it goes more than halfway and it's like that's you're losing half the bag but if this was used for like nappies um maybe like a change of clothes that goes in your car um like if you go to the beach and want to put like a little sarong and then your bikinis or like your underwear or something like that this is what that would be like perfect for it wouldn't be good for um like a whole toiletry bag so i didn't not love this but i thought like it still could have improvements and I might bring out a bag like this in the future. I'm pretty sure I'm going to bring out this in the next collection but still undecided. Anyway I'm going to leave this vlog here and I'm gonna start working on a few things to get prepped. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!